Hey everyone, in this video we will take a look at creating scatterplot matrix in Stata. So for reference, we are using the aggregated dataset as shown in the first video of this playlist. So uh, let's get started. Let's take a look at what a scatterplot matrix looks like. So in this, in this command we have graph matrix, log of which, total experience, hours and race. So what it does, it is uh, it basically creates scatter plot among all of these variables, or uh, we can also think of like cross correlations among all of these variables. And so, how can we interpret this kind of plots? So we need to remember that in the first column, the x-axis is wage. So the first uh, variable that we have given this command is wage. So the first column's x-axis will be wage. In the second column, the x-axis will be total experience because our second variable is total experience. So the x-axis in the second column is total experience and likewise the x-axis in the third column is hours and x-axis in the fourth column is race. And then we have all of the other variables on the y-axis. So uh, an example of uh, how to interpret this kind of graph. So in this first column here we have log of wage on the x-axis and we have total experience on the y-axis and we can see that as wage increases total experience also tends to increase so there is a positive relationship between these two. In this one we have log of wage on the x-axis and we have hours on the y-axis and we can see that um, there is not necessarily a typical relationship positive or negative between these two variables because hours are somewhat constant around this range whereas no, no matter what the wage is. And in this one we have wage on the x-axis and we have race on the y-axis. So what we may be able to infer from this graph is, as we can see, when race is equals to three, we can see that wage varies quite a lot. Uh, the minimum is lower than the other two races and the maximum is also higher than the other two races. Whereas um, for race two and race one, uh, the distribution looks more like this. So this is one example of how we can interpret uh, the graphs, um, the scatterplot matrix. So now let's take a look at customizing these matrices or um, to be precise, customizing these uh, plots. I'll give it a moment to generate a graph at first. Okay, so we just have one more graph left. All right, now let's take a look at um, different commands that we have used to customize these graphs. So this is the first graph that we started with and then this is the second graph. Right. So we can see uh, at the very first thing we can see is that uh, the marker uh, pointers or the marker size is basically smaller than the default ones and this looks prettier compared to the previous one. So what we've done here is we've specified the marker size be 0.5 points. We have also done is we've specified that the marker axis for y label should be none and the same for x label should be none. So if we compare we have these uh, x and y uh, axis labels and uh, these refer to the different um, uh, units for these variables. So for example for race we have 1, 2 and 3. Uh, for total experience it goes from 0 to 15 and for log of which it goes from 1 to 2 and so on. So in this case we have turned them off in the display section and so we have a relatively neat diagram here. Now moving on to this one, we can see that this one has got rid of the upper half triangle. So this is because these two are essentially the same graph, right? So we are here plotting uh, in the y-axis we have experience and in the x-axis we have wage. And in this graph, in the y-axis we have wage and in the x-axis we have experience. So these are essentially the same things, just flipped over. So we can get rid of the upper half of the graph and that would make it a little bit easier as well to read. And so we do this by invoking the option half. Just everything else remains the same, just we say half, and so it gets rid of, gets rid of the half of the graph. And the last one here, we have uh, modified the labels or the text that comes in the diagonal of the matrix. And so the command, this much remains the same as the last one. We have just invoked diag for diagonal, and then we put each of the text that we want in its own set of uh, quotation marks and we also specify the marker label, uh, marker size, sorry. 
and this gives us uh, the final graph that we would like to have. Now, of course, we can also do other things like give a graph title and everything else as we have seen in the other videos. So I didn't go and describe it here. One thing to remember is we cannot use the options half and diagonal uh, altogether. So if I wanted to make the uh, customize the names and also create a half diagram, uh, that would not be possible in this given setup. So we can either use the half or we can customize and get the full diagram. So this is a quick demonstration of scatter plot matrix in Stata, uh, so which basically plots uh, the cross correlations among all of the variables that we specified. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.